2 Timothy 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, in keeping with the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy, my dear son. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. Thanksgiving. I thank God who I serve as my ancestors did with a clear conscience as night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers. I recall, Recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith which first lived in your grandmother Louise and your mother Ewan's. And I am persuaded now also now lives in you also. Appeal for loyalty to Paul and the gospel. It is for this reason I remind you to fan into the flame to fan into the flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying of my laying on of my hands. For the Spirit of God gave this for the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. So do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or me, his prisoner. Rather, join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Saviour, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immorality, uh, immortality to light through the gospel. And of this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher, that is why I am suffering as I am. Yet this is no cause for shame, because I know whom I have believed, and am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to what I have entrusted to him until that day. What you heard from me keep as a pattern of sound teaching, with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Examples of disloyalty and loyalty. You know that everyone in the province of Asia has deserted me, including Pythagoras and Hermogenes. May the Lord show mercy to the household of Onesiphorus. Onesiphorus because he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. On the contrary, when he was in chain, uh, when he was in Rome, he searched hard for me until he found me. May the Lord grant that he will find mercy from the Lord on that day. You know very well in how many ways he has helped me in Ephesus.